Hello and welcome to Tribe Called Cars. My name is Ben Griffin and today we have vlog number three. Glasses on or off. So in this week's episode, we're gonna talk a little bit about working on YouTube with the quarantine, what's coming up in the next week or two, and my new office and things I bought for said office because I had a little bit of a spending spree, but it's fine, it's okay. I mean, I'm not really making any money, but let's spend money we don't have. Sensible. So first up is quarantine. For many of you that don't know, the UK has a sort of essential travel rule at the moment. It's not as bad as in France where you have to sign a bit of paper to go outside and if you don't you can get fined I think 135 euros or a lot more if you keep doing it but to be fair it isn't exactly guilt-free travel these days particularly in London it's so quiet at night through the day I think a lot of people are actually respecting the whole lockdown quarantine coronavirus fun thing that is taking place so in terms of my life well I already work from home it's just now I want to go out but I can't, whereas before I could have gone out, but I didn't really want to because, you know, people are out there and stuff like that. So in that sense, it's all a little bit strange and also in terms of getting cars to review. Well, that's not happening. I know Audi is just completely gone. So at the moment, you can't get a lot of cars and obviously all press trips, as I talked about in my coronavirus motoring effect video, they're just off the cards. They're done as well. So for the next month, two months, three months, maybe more, it's just completely empty. If you are solely reliant on car reviews, there's nothing you can do. It's just silent, to be fair. Fortunately though, I have the racing game coverage and I'm attempting to make YouTube work as a living, which is a slow burner, not gonna lie, but I'm enjoying it. It's still fun, it's still cool, and actually things are starting to come together. I feel like a little bit more personality is getting into the videos, they're just a little bit more professional looking as well. I mean, we painted a wall because why not? This is teal. Named after a bird, actually. Part of a bird, anyway. No one needs to know that, do they? So having to relocate and deal with slower internet because more people are on it all the time. That has been a little bit annoying, but it's okay. We can get around that. It just means when I upload a video, it can take much longer. And also downloading video files takes a lot longer so these are just considerations that doesn't mean my tuesday and friday schedule is any different that is still happening i know i missed it once but i had to sort of relocate some items and other things blah 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 but anyway that is all sorted on to the next bit what videos are coming up well we've already done the photography car tips video we're going to be doing more along those lines so looking at the basics of cameras how to use it in manual mode and maybe even some indoor photography tips because a lot of us want to keep practicing with our cameras, but we're stuck inside. So as nice as it would be to do a tutorial on landscape photography, there just isn't any point. Yes, editing fine because you might already have the photos, but in terms of taking them, let's just focus on what we can do. I'm also going to get to the TTR Le Mans video. I haven't forgotten, same with Overpass, but I've been playing the Dirt Rally 2.0 Colin McRae expansion because I've got the steering wheel, so check out that video as well. I'm gonna do four or five, maybe more, from that expansion, just to give you an idea of what the Thrustmaster wheel is like, what the game is like. I would say the expansion is a lot of fun. It's definitely worth it. It's quite challenging, particularly with the controller. I wanted to throw my Xbox out the window. The steering wheel, however, in the Sierra Cosworth RS500, was palatable. It's just you oversteer too much and you lose control. I just can't get to grips with it. In fact, huge respect to those who could just get into a car and just be good at driving, because that is not easy. That is a skill that takes a while to build up, particularly if you jump between one game and another, as I have to all the time. There's sort of five or six going at the same time. And the last part of this video is all about the new office. So I've mentioned the new color, also got a new desk, and I also got a little bit older, which isn't great, however, I did get given a 4K screen. Now this is something I wanted for a very long time. I've got a BenQ PD27000U. That's memory, so it's probably completely wrong. The exact spec is going to be in the description below. Check it out. Basically, 4K is good for gaming if you have a graphics card that can support it. I've got an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. 
which is a proper weapon. I didn't buy it, was given it for reviewing, whatever. It's great. But I tend to play more console games than I do PC. That's obviously going to change a little bit now because I can record at the higher res. But I've only got a standard Xbox One, so I'm not even benefiting from the 4K visuals from that. For me, the reason why I got it is so I can edit in 4K and actually see what things look like in 4K. Whereas before it was 1080 and I just assumed it looked fine. Now I get to see my wrinkles in glorious detail and the tired bags and all the really fun stuff you get as you get older. But seriously though, that should have a great impact because when I adjust, say, the sharpening, then I can actually see what effect it's having. And in terms of just the overall picture, I have a much better idea when I edit at the resolution I've recorded in on my Sony a7R2. The other reason is that I can edit photos at a higher resolution. Now, obviously cameras go beyond 4K. I think the files on the a7R2 RAW are 45 meg. I think it's 8192 pixels by something. It's crazy, crazy detail. Of course, most of the time you crop in and you get the sort of framing you want. But again, that will allow me to see the photos better and the BenQ monitor has been calibrated for colours. So red on that will look like the red it's meant to be, as opposed to on my other screen, which is lovely and it has the whole curve thing going on. So it's got good viewing angles, it's good for gaming, because it's got fast input lag and all that kind of stuff. Of course, all of this assumes the device you're using is colour accurate. And this is just one of those many considerations of video that you don't really think about until you have to do it. But what I want to do is grade things as I see them and know that they are 90 to sort of 95% accurate. And then I know that if you have a good screen, then you will see it as I intended. But even if not, I know that what I did was how I wanted it to be, if that makes sense. Yes, it's a little bit of a luxury, but actually a combination of the 4K and the graphics card means I can also start doing VR. I can record all my games at a higher resolution once I get a better Xbox One X. But if it's a PC game, I can have ultra and have a decent frame rate. 4K gaming can grind some games to a complete halt. So you're not going to get the crazy frame rates you would at 1080 or even 2K, which I think is 2160 by 1440. Am I making it anyway? Whatever. So as you probably guessed, I am a complete nerd, but that's fine. I do not mind. Loved it. I get it from my grandfather. It skips generation because my dad doesn't really care about cameras, uh, video games or any of that stuff. In fact, he used to look at me in a rather confused fashion. And when I said I wanted to do game design, well, uh, yeah, that was interesting. But for some reason, they supported me. And it's come in handy because I just love testing all this stuff. I find it fascinating. I genuinely love racing games. I love cars. I love how to take photos of them. All of this stuff, I think, is really, really cool. And that's what this channel is ultimately about. So at some point, you can also expect a video on the entire office, the computer, the editing. I know there's a link in the description for my 4K computer I have, but I want to explain why I have the certain things I do, like the audio recorder, the mic, all of that stuff I want to go into detail. My monitor that you can't see, the LED light here, the secondary microphone that's capturing me in case the one here, yeah, there's here, in case that fails, the tripod, how to make this room less reverby, all of these things that I've had to sort of try and get past to make these videos happen and just make them better quality for you guys. Anyway, well, as always, I have spoken for too long. If you made it this far, wow, you are a super fan, but I genuinely appreciate it. There's so much stuff I want to do. I just have to sort of calm myself down and just be like, no, Ben, one step at a time, one video at a time, all right? I have a lot of big plans. And if the channel starts to make money, there's a mobile game I want to do. There's a car project I want to do. It's going to be really cool, but you don't run before you can walk, as they say. So I'm just going to calm, keep making videos three, four times a week. Hopefully you guys subscribe, give it a like, give it a comment, because that helps bump me up in the algorithm. And that way I can actually make a little bit of money from the advert. And on that note, thank you very much for watching. Keep washing your hands, keep moisturizing, because wow, are they dry. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.